I live in New Jersey. Our summer is short, but it can get really hot. Plus, I walk to the office every day. So when it's 90 degree out, I used to think this is the only kind of outfit to keep me cool in the summer. But now I know I can also look like this. It is possible to be both comfortable and look chic. And this is how you do it. When the weather gets real hot, dresses are my number one choice. Because if I wear pants, they can easily get sticky on my legs, especially because I walk a lot. With dresses, that is not a problem. Besides, dresses are one piece. It's much easier to get ready. You don't have to worry about how to pair the top with the bottom. You can get out of the door much, much faster. And dresses always look much more polished. With the dresses, the silhouette is critical. I know what you're thinking. Chi, we're talking about the weather. Why does the silhouette have anything to do with that? It matters because I know when it gets really hot, most of us, myself included, we're craving those loosely fitted, tent looking dresses. Are they comfortable? Yes. Are they flattering? Not really. But you can do better than that. A-line dresses offers the best of both worlds. Fitted at the top and it flares out at the bottom. So it defines your shape, but it's not clinging to your body. That's why I find it super comfortable to wear when the weather is super hot. Also, the A-line dresses are universally flattering. If you happen to have water hips or thicker thighs, A-line dresses are perfect shape for you. When it gets really hot, you want to avoid any dresses that is body calm any dresses that is clinging to your skin. Nothing feels worse than that when the weather is really hot and steamy. Fabrics is critical. You probably know this already. The higher percentage of the natural fibers, such as cotton, silk, linen, the more breathable the cloth is, and therefore they're more comfortable against your skin. My personal favorite is 100% cotton or 100% silk on the hottest summer days. With linen, because they tend to get wrinkles more easily, I normally go with linen blend. The eyelid dresses are a must have for me every summer. The fabrics is lightweight, breathable because it's 100% cotton. This is a lifesaver, especially when it's 90 degree out. In my closet, I have eyelid dresses and tops and skirts. This one is from ASOS. You've seen me wearing it in numerous videos. Definitely one of my go-to summer tops. The easiest to wear is a white eyelid dress like this one. This one is from my store, PetitDressing.com. If you haven't checked it out yet, make sure you do. But I also love them in other colors like this one. The blue eyelid dress is from Nene Lapour. I got it more than five years ago. I still keep wearing it every summer. It's one of those designs, casual but also intentional. And it works with any age group. Another wonderful choice when the summer gets really hot, t-shirt dresses. This one is from Lily Pulitzer. I got it from years ago. Rooster t-shirt dress, 100% cotton, super comfortable. This is my go-to dress. I constantly reach for this dress, especially when I need to walk for a long time. The design of the dress is super simple. The cut is straight up and down. This is a shape dress, but shape dresses are not all the same. This one is cut narrowly, so it fits closer to the body. It doesn't have too much volume. It's not oversized. That's why it doesn't look like a tent on me. Super important if you are petite like me. What I love about this dress is the neckline. The embroidery on the neckline immediately upgrade, elevate a very basic t-shirt dress. Now you can wear this dress, of course, as a casual outfit, but you can also easily dress it up with some accessories and heels. You can even wear this for a day night. Look for a slit or slits in your dresses or skirts. 
These are very much on trend and that's such a wonderful news because the slit can really make a big difference, especially when the summer gets really hot. If you walk a lot like me, if the skirt has a slit, it becomes much more breathable because your skirt is literally letting more air in because of that slit. Wonderful design, especially in the summer heat. Besides, did you know that any dresses or skirts with a slit can make your legs look longer? The reason is because when you're walking, you are getting the eye a peek into your legs. So your legs are no longer buried under the fabrics. And that is super leg elongating. I have a whole other video talking about this, especially when you're wearing maxi dresses or midi dresses. Looking for a slit in your dresses is super critical. Make sure you watch this video as well. Necklines are super important for your summer outfits. What I love in the summer are lower necklines. These work the best. U neckline, deep V neckline, sweetheart neckline, off the shoulder neckline. What they all have in common is they don't cover this area. Your neck and your shoulders. The less you cover this area, the more breathable your top or dress is. And I typically will stay away from higher necklines such as the crew neckline or polo neck. Not only lower necklines are more breathable in the summer, but also regardless of the season, they are more flattering generally, especially if you happen to have curves. If you're an hourglass shape or apple shape, any body type, if you happen to have full chest, lower necklines are the most flattering on you because they create space in this area and that is gonna balance out your curves. And also if you're petite like me, lower necklines, the open necklines can elongate this area and that's why they're super flattering for shorter women. I know what you might be thinking, Chi, what about the office? I can't wear low necklines. What do I do in the summer? The best solution for the office is something like this. This is a sleeveless v-neck top. A basic white shell like this works very well in the summer if you're going to the office. What I love about this neckline, it's low enough to let the air in, so it's breathable. You will not feel smothered, but it's not too low. You're not gonna be showing anything. It's not revealing, so you can totally wear this to the office. A basic top like this is very versatile. It literally goes with everything in your closet. This top is longer, so it works the best for those of you who do not like crop tops in the summer. It's long enough to cover you in your belly and in your hips. You can wear this with a narrowly fitted crop leg pants, or you can tuck it in and wear it with white leg pants. And you can also throw on a midi skirt and this is a wonderful outfit for the office in the summer. Okay, some of you mentioned to me, you wanna make sure your arms are covered. Don't worry, I got you covered. The solution is you can wear long sleeve, but the sleeve look like this. This is long sleeve, but because the sleeve has so much embroidery and lace, it literally lets the air get in. And the shirt is much more breathable than other long sleeve tops. Besides, this kind of design just looks more polished and you can throw on any basic bottom and you still look very put together. Jewelry. When the summer gets really hot, the best solution is to keep your jewelry to the minimal. That doesn't mean you have to stay away from them. Any kind of simple jewelry can instantly elevate a very basic outfit and make you look much more put together. If you like necklaces, my go-to in the summer, pendant necklace like this one. I do love statement necklaces, but I will not be wearing them if it's like 90 degree out and I have to walk a lot. If you like earrings, my go-to are the studded pearl earrings. These are simple, elegant, and they're much more manageable, especially when it's very hot outside. When the summer gets really hot, one easy solution is to put on shorts. No matter what top you wear with it, as soon as you put on a pair of shorts, you can instantly feel cooled off. If you're petite, you might be thinking shorts should be one of the easiest things to wear because they always fit. You never have to hem them like the jeans. However, not all the shorts are created equal. 
Some shorts can actually make it pretty obvious if you have short legs. What are the best shorts to look flattering on someone who's petite? Watch this video. The secrets to find the most flattering shorts for short legs.